for some, maybe even good evening. This event is being broadcast, and um, I'd say that virtually every speech I give, I've been giving speeches in the industry for the last 18 years. Um, I've probably traveled to more countries to talk about the efficacies of trading and trading for a living throughout all markets. Um, probably visit more countries than anyone in the industry. Um, I happen to have one of the largest, if not the largest, proprietary trading groups in the entire world. Um, I have over 4,000 traders that 24 hours a day, five days a week, scour the earth for opportunities, some of which I'm going to actually show you and teach you today. But before I actually delve into today's presentation, I want to, I'd like to start off with a story. I think it's a very, a very relevant story and an important story for all market participants. One day long ago, a very strange elderly man showed up at a very small farming village in the Himalayan mountains. And this strange man was accompanied by a much younger assistant. And everyone looked at him very weird. He stayed for a few days. And then he made his intentions known to the villagers. I'm a businessman, and I am in the business of buying and selling monkeys. And I've come to your village because you have an enormous amount or huge supply of monkeys running around free. So here's what I'm going to do, the old man says. I'm going to pay every single villager $10 for every monkey that they go out and deliver to me. Now, most of the villagers were just getting by relatively poor and saw a huge opportunity. So they left their farms knowing that there's a preponderance of monkeys, monkeys around. This is easy money. And they went out into the forest and they began collecting thousands upon thousands upon thousands of monkeys. And just like the man said, every villager got paid $10 for every monkey that they delivered to the old man. As the supply began to dwindle, all right, Villagers began to drift back to their farms, and the old man would have none of this. He says, well, you know what? I'm now upping the ante. Instead of $10 per monkey, I'm going to pay every villager $15 per monkey. I'm going to go up 50%. The villagers then left their farms once again, went out, and scoured every corner of the forest for monkeys. And as the supply dwindled once again, right, the villagers began to drift back to their farms in larger and larger numbers. And one final plea, the old man said, listen, I don't have enough monkeys. I have thousands upon thousands, but I do not have enough. I am now going to make the offer $25 for every monkey you go out. Every villager's eyes got very big, and they went out. Despite the fact that the supply was very low, they worked hard at getting the last few monkeys. Monkeys at this particular time learned that whenever you see a villager now, you just run in the opposite direction. They used to be friendly, but now they are not, right? And so basically, they're out. The old man said, but as you, I will pay you $25. I'm going to leave the money with my assistant. I have to go into town on business, but I will be back over the next several days. He will pay you the $25 for every. They went into the forest and scoured every corner of the forest for the last few monkeys they could rummage up. There were no monkeys to be found. They went to the assistant to complain and say, listen, we know the offer is very sweet, but there simply are no more monkeys. So the assistant says, well, listen, I have a plan. I have over 10,000 monkeys caged right here. Why don't you pay me $35 for these monkeys. And when the old man comes back, in, back into the village, you can make the difference between $35 and $50. And they thought that was a wonderful plan. All the villagers went into their homes. They rummaged through their savings, every ounce of gold, every dollar, every penny, everything they owned, they brought back to the assistant to buy the monkeys at $35. The villagers never saw the old man or the assistant again. Now you know how Wall Street works. But I think my job's done. <laughs> nice. Yes, Wall Street is a game of supply and demand. Trading is a game of supply and demand. Most individuals think this is an activity that involves you buying something for a dollar and selling it for two. And that is where you go wrong. 
This is not an activity of buying something for a dollar and selling it for two. This is not about finding the best company with the best earnings and the best management with the great products like Apple. No, this is nothing about that. That's the smokescreen stuff. This is about trading people. This is about finding idiots. This is about being smarter than the other person on the other side of your trade. This is about keeping your word to your own self. This is a sublime activity. This is not about money. This is about becoming a better person, a better trader, which means that first you have to become a better person. Think about this for a second. I want you to think about this for a second. The reason why this game we call trading is so challenging, the most challenging activity on earth, is because before any measure of mastery in the markets can be achieved, you must first master yourself. You have to actually change before the market can actually reward you. You can't carry your baggage to the market and expect rewards. You can't carry your bad habits and expect to be rewarded with your bad habits, with your flaws, with your faulty thinking, with your erroneous concepts, with your broken down trading systems and strategies. The world doesn't work that way. You work on you first, then the market can respond to a better you. Does this make sense? Trading is a spiritual activity because trading focuses on the self. This is all about you and the promises you keep to yourself. Think about what a trading plan is, ladies and gentlemen. It is nothing more than a testament to you keeping your own word. I will not lose more than $300 on every single trade I take. If that is in your trading plan, can you keep your own word to yourself? Whenever you're down 300, you hit that sell button without a hesitation, without a doubt. Can you do that? Can you keep your, can you be true to your own promises to yourself? Because if you can't be true to yourself, can you be true to your wife, your children, your community, your family? This is more than buying a stock for a dollar and selling it for two. This is about becoming a better you which makes you a better you in every part of your life. If this was just about money, I would have gotten bored 20 years ago trading the markets, right? I will not lose more than $300 on every single trade. That is a promise to myself. I will take my stops without hesitation, without pause, when I am down $300 or more, and I will do it with pride. Can you do that? Can you keep your word? I will not anticipate my trading signals. I will not overstay my welcome. I will not sell too early, so forth and so on. Your trading plan is a set of promises to yourself. And so as you become truer to you, you become more profitable as a trader. Shakespeare said it best, all right? Be true to thine own self. For it will follow as the night to day. Thou canst not be true to any other man. It makes you a better human being. My name is Oliver Velez. And as I mentioned, I, am, I have been speaking in this industry on the topic of trading markets for a living for the last 18 years of my life. I've been a professional trader for the last 24 years of my life. Well, I'm the most sought after speaker on this topic worldwide. I travel the globe shouting, from virtually every single rooftop I get a chance to. I'm on my way to Singapore, all right, over the next several weeks. I will also be in Colombia, Bogota, and Medellin. From there, I fly to Sao Paulo in Brazil and Rio, spreading this message and recruiting traders all over the world. I have over 4,000 traders that are entirely funded by me, that are trained every day to be profitable hourly. All right, that's the goal for my traders to be profitable every single hour that they are in the markets, right? And I have some very interesting things to show you. Um, do I have? Oh, I do? Excellent. Thank you. Awesome. All right. I won't bore you with some of the details, but my, my, my work throughout the industry has been ranked number one by virtually everyone out there, Barron's, Forbes, Stocks and Commodities. I've appeared on all the financial programs or what have you, which a lot of times, believe it or not, it's a waste of time. I have five best-selling books on the markets. These books probably sell more book, more copies than any other books in the industry. This is the best-selling book of all times, Tools and Tactics of the Master 
Day Trader. It is translated now as of last week in eight different languages. And it's been the bestseller for the last 10 years. All right, I want you to meet my global trading team. I have over 2,400 equity traders, right? And before we, I'm gonna teach you what these traders do on a daily basis today. But I have 2,400 plus equity traders. My goal is 2,500. So I'm just about close to where I want to be with my equity colony. I call them colonies, actually. I have a colony of Forex traders, 950. And this is the most explosive part of my company right now. I am growing aggressively my Forex trading team. Why? The market's bigger. It's open 24 hours. Um, people can also have another activity that they do and also be one of my traders. The leverage is bigger, less regulation, right? More profit potential. This is the biggest area of my trading team now. I have 379 current wealth traders that are not funded, but they are trained to scour the earth for longer term opportunities where we institutionally accumulate our big positions together. Two new trading teams or colonies I will be developing starting next month. Options trading team, all right? These traders will use options to hedge part of their overnight holes, all right? And to also leverage up some of their big positions. Futures trading team will, will help my traders be able to take advantage of a commodities boom that I believe 2012 will bring. Mark my words here today, ladies and gentlemen. We have not seen the end of gold's rise. Gold is trading what? Near $1,700 an ounce? All right? That is just a blip. I see gold at $4,000 an ounce easy over time, of course. Silver is one of the most undervalued assets in the world. All right? The most undervalued asset in the world. I'd say if I had to pick one investment for a lifetime, it would be silver. My traders know we've been in silver from $11 an ounce. It went to 50. We sold two thirds of our position and we're starting to accumulate now in this $20 area after the pullback. I see silver over $100 an ounce and a lifetime target of $250 an ounce. The metals, ladies and gentlemen, is the alternative currency of tomorrow, right? The fiat currencies that have been floated by your international countries, including ours in the States, right? That game is pretty much over, okay? Um, I believe next year is the year of gold, oil. I think we see oil over $200 an ounce, and I'm going to help my traders profit from every single blip, tick, and pip there is. My goal has been to, to come up with 5,000 traders. Look at this. If 5,000 of my traders average $100 a day, that's a half a million dollars a day. That's $2.5 million a week. That's $130 million a year. Right? Do I really want my traders making $100 a day? No. But that's the average. Average. One trader's up 18000 Another trader's down 4000 Another trader's up 1200 Another trader's down 800 If I get the average between all the winners and losers that day to be 100 that's what we make a year with 5,000 traders. If I bump that number, if we manage to bump that number to 500 it's $2.5 million daily. 12.5 a week and 650 million dollars a year right this is a big giant global game we are playing here all right my every one of my traders go through this matrix they start off as babies with ten thousand dollars now a lot of people say oliver come on ten thousand dollars yes i give you ten thousand dollars and i tell you bring me back i want you to bring me back twenty dollars I don't care if you do it over 20 days and go into the market and bring me back $1 a day. Or you can give me the whole 20 in one day. But give me $20 and then I'll move you to $15,000 and now your goal is to bring me $60. And I don't care how you do it. It might take you a year to bring me $60. Or one day. Or two weeks. I don't care how you do it. I believe that if you know how to make a dollar, you know how to make $10,000 or $100,000. Isn't it the same buy and sell button? If you buy 10 shares and you make a dollar, but what if there was another zero and that buy was 100 shares? But what if I tricked you when you thought you were buying 100, you were really buying 10,000? I just added a zero, but it didn't show up on your screen. I trick traders like that sometimes. They think they feel more relaxed when they're trading 100 shares, but when they go up to 1,000 shares, they get all nervous, so I remove the zero. And they think they're trading 100 shares. All right? It's all psychological. Then I say, okay, here's 30,000. Bring me 130. 
here's 50,000, bring me 200. And when you can do these three levels, to me, you're a graduated trader. Now let the games begin. Here you have 75, then you go to 225, then you go to 700,000. Here you're trading 2.5 million. Down here you're trading $11 million. My traders work through this matrix to earn more and more of their profitability. And the theory is, the, the share amount doesn't, ama doesn't matter. The buy and sell decisions are the same, whether you're trading tiny bits or big amounts. Now, but trading progress flows from the top. And I, I just want to explain how we're structured so that when I teach you the strategies that these traders are deploying today, all right, and I'm going to do that because you're going to learn some powerful strategy, a powerful strategy here today. All right, I just want to explain how everything flows from the top and how our, our our, our, our company is structured. So trading progress for all my thousands of traders, it flows from the top. Now these are, these are the top, these, we are the top three traders. You know that handsome gentleman. This is Dr. Dan Milkarski. He's the head of my equity division. This is Chima Buri. He's the head of my Forex division. Now these are two of the premier traders in the entire country. They've been under my tutelage for a long time. Dr. Dan, if you can stand up. That's Dr. Dan there. Um, Chima, stand up. And that's Chima right there. These are two of the most two. These are among some of the most dynamic traders in the entire industry. Now watch this. Here's Dr. Dan Mokarski's trading records over the last three weeks, three months. All right, one hundred and one thousand dollars in the month of August. Now that's trading part time and also running a, a, a big part of the company. I don't know if you can see this, but there's not a single losing day in the entire. These are days. There's not a single losing day. But as you can see. What most professional traders do is they hit base hits, doubles, and occasional triples, and there's usually one or two grand slams in the month. That's how the month is built. It's built with a lot of singles and doubles. So here's, here's a double. I call $2,000 in a day a double, and $1,000 a single, and anything over five is like a home run. Anything over seven is a grand slam. So here's a double, here's a, here's a grand slam, 7000 on the day. Here's a single, single. Grand Slam, here's 6,000, here's 10,000, here's 12,000, here's, here's a, a, a home run, and here's double, 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 single, you know, so forth and so on for 101,000. After expenses, he nets 92,000. Here's his September trading records, all right? Look at two, six, one, one, two, three, four, eight. There's the Grand Slam. There's usually one or two. Seven, here's the Grand Slam. But it's a lot of doubles, some triples, a lot of singles, and that occasional Grand Slam that builds your month. $45,000 gross, $41,000 net after commissions and fees and so forth and so on. Month of October, $58,000 in one month. Now, Dr. Dan trades live with all of his traders every single day. They watch, he tells them exactly what he's doing before he does it. They piggyback on him and the traders start learning how a professional trader trades through osmosis, through walking in Dr. Dan's footsteps. All right? Now, Shima Buri, on the Forex side, Forex is bigger, bigger market, bigger leverage, bigger profit potential. Understand this. This doesn't mean that Shima is necessarily better than Dan. It's just a different market. More opportunity. $40,000 in a single week. These are individual trades. $7,000 on this trade, $4,000, $5,000. He lost $120,000. That's how you lose. You win seven thousand, you lose one twenty. That's how you lose. You win nine thousand, five thousand, four thousand, you lose five hundred. You win nine thousand. Okay, two hundred and forty-seven thousand dollar weekly gain. Now Shima's done this live in front of his eight or nine hundred traders. Beautiful. Two hundred and two thousand dollars in thirty days. Right. We started with a hundred thousand dollars. And he's 202%. Now, this is just because of leverage. You can't do this without leverage. These numbers are not possible without leverage. But we're making a difference. Now, here are my baby traders under their direction. Here's a, a trader who's trading very small. Look at it. He's got, he's got uh, $10,000. And with $10,000, he's making $100 a day, $119 in one day. Look at his wins, $34.50. But look at the losses, $4, $1. That's how you play this game. I'm going to show you how they do this. Here's a trader with $30,439 in one day. He traded two symbols, no losers. Here's $555 in one day. He's got $30,000. Here are the winners, no losers. Here's $1,000 in a day. All right? 
All the wind. Here the symbols trade it, and here are the winds. Nice work. Here's a thousand dollars. Again, here look at the winners. Eight hundred, one hundred, fifty-two. Look at the losers. One dollar, two dollars, six dollars, nine dollars. My traders are taught whenever a loss rears its ugly head, cut the head off. Don't even let it fester. Okay? Age doesn't matter. I have a junior trading team that starts at 10 years old to, to 16 years old. 10 to 16 year olds. Here's, my, here's one of my 10 year traders. His name is Cruz Bramlett. I think that's a cool name. Cruz. $1,000 in one day. All right? $1,200 in one day. Look at his losses. This was a, too big of a loss here, but 269 41 This is an acceptable loss. 82 He, he let this loss get a little ahead of himself. 200 132 all right, you'll be hearing a lot more of this of Cruz actually. 1067 in one trading day. Cruz continues. Look at the losses. Win 900, loss 3223. All right? The heavy hitters are the bigger traders 8000 in one trading day, 10000 in one trading day, 12000 trading trading day. Usually these bigger days have one mega trade. Cisco was the big trade here, 9000. CSS did a, did a decent one. These are the smaller trades. $10,000 in an afternoon, 700 and here's, again, usually one trade is your mega trade. Now, we're aggressively recruiting more traders, guys. I'm looking, I'm going to go into the education now, but I'm looking to train you for life. I'm looking to fund you, starting with seven, 5000 you can go up all the way to $12 million. I will absorb your trading losses. Who will do that? I will absorb your trading losses until you get this right, all right? I'll pay you out 100% of your gains until your costs are, are entirely recouped. And when we're even, then we start splitting. Now that can be more, more fair than that. All right, now listen to this. As I move into this, this presentation, I want you to have a copy of it. Because I'm about to teach you one of the most valuable tactics that my traders use every single day. All right, this tactic is what I call the kamikaze. I want you to have this. All you have to do is email kamikaze at ifundtraders.com and the entire presentation is yours absolutely free. It'll be emailed to you in PDF format. This tactic, the kamikaze, all right, kamikaze tactic is um, what I call the risk is one of eight tactics that I allow my traders to risk everything in their account on. Now there are eight times that I will allow my traders to take every penny in their account and risk the whole thing. This tactic is that powerful and that accurate. And I want to teach it to you. All right? Now, before I delve into the tactic, I have to teach you the three most powerful bars that my traders wait for in the markets. Now this applies to any time frame you trade. If you how, are, are there any micro traders in the audience, like people that trade intraday and they're usually flat by the end of the day? Any any traders here? Some of you. Most of you hold positions overnight. All right. Well, it doesn't matter whether you're looking at a daily chart or a weekly chart or a two minute chart or a five minute chart. This theory applies. These are the three. There are 13 bars that the market forms over and over again. These are the three most important bars. I call this set the elephants and this set the tail bars. Now, the ones we're going to focus on today are the tail bars. Tomorrow, I will focus on how, what we do with the elephant bars. Tail bars are nothing more than elongated elephant bars that actually reverse themselves. So this tail bar was once a negative down bar. Let's say it opened at $20 and dropped to 18. So it opens here at the top and falls $2 to 18. At the low, it's a big, giant, fat, elongated, red, negative down bar. But the period is not over yet. All of a sudden, the red starts to recede, leaving behind in its wake a little tiny wick. And then the red recedes more, leaving behind somewhat of a tail. The wick grows to tail length. Then all the red disappears in this, in this bar, and now you have a 180 degree reversal by the bulls. Now remember, in the first part of the bar, the bears were in control. They were driving the market down. But in the second part of the period, the bulls recouped all of the negative loss 
and then went beyond. And here is guideline number one. You always give the benefit of the doubt to the side that was in power last. You give the benefit of the doubt to the side, bulls or bears, which one had the ball last. So the bears had the ball first, and the bulls had the ball last. Does that make sense? That's the side you bet with. All right? Now, on the downside here, you have bull elephant bars, long, fat, bullish bars, where the bulls are high-fiving themselves, and all of a sudden they drop the ball. It's picked up by the bears, and they drop it. Now, the green starts to recede, leaving behind a little tiny wick at the top. The green recedes more, leaving behind a tail. Then all the green disappears. That's a 100 80 degree powerful reversal the last side to have the ball or have control is the bears you bet on the downside so when the tail is at the bottom of the body and the color of the body doesn't matter this can be green this can be red this can be no color it doesn't matter if the tail is at the bottom you know the bet is long if the tail is at the top you know the bet is down Sure, it's simple as that. Now, location is very important, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But here's how I teach my traders to, to play these bars. Now, let's focus on the tail bars for today. Tomorrow, we'll focus on this bar in my next presentation. But when the bull, when the bottoming tail bar forms right before the close of that tail bar, my traders buy the bar. They don't buy the next bar. They don't wait for this bar to finish trading. They enter into that bar right before the end of the bar's formation. So if this is a five-minute bar, they're four minutes and 30 seconds, four minutes and 45 seconds by, right before the five-minute period locks the bar in. Is that, is that clear? You buy toward the end of the bar's formation. If it is a daily bar, you come, you come to look at the bar at... 15 minutes before the close and within that last 15 minute period you buy into the bar now once you have bought the bar before the bar finishes trading you're going to place a protective stop right under the bar your stop goes right under the bottoming tail by one penny you got this now think about this I am giving you something that can radically change the rest of your trading for the rest of your life. Think about this one simple thing. You buy the bar and put the stop right under the low of the same bar. This means that you will never lose more than one bar on any given trade. When you win, you might win 13 bars. But whenever you lose, will only be one bar. When you win, you might win 28 bars. But when you lose, you'll only lose one bar. This is how you stay in the game. This is how you work the proper ratios. Every time you lose, you fall on one knee. Big deal. I want you falling out of the basement window, just not the 40th floor, right? All right? Fall out of the basement window is okay. Uh, you'll live another day. All right? But Oliver, I don't want to fall out of any windows. Well, this is not the game for you because you will occasionally fall out of the basement window. Right? But as long as you don't fall out of 40th or 80th floor, you're fine because you're not coming back from that. So you buy into the bar with a stop under the bar's low. Your maximum loss is always one bar. But trust me, when you win, you will win many bars. Many bars. Now, get this. Same thing on the sell side. If you're shorting a market, Stock is, stock is rocketed to Pluto. Everyone's excited about it. And all of a sudden, you see a big, giant, topping tail bar as if it's like a giant flagpole at the top of Ev Mount Everest. That tells you it's over. All right? You short into the bar before the bar finishes trading. You put a stop above the high. Your maximum loss is just this one single bar. But if the bottom falls out, you're going to get a 20 bar win, a 30 bar win, a 40 bar win, a 13 bar win. As long as there's more than one bar, you're fine. 
And the odds are huge that that's what it would be. So let's, let's talk about this one tactic where it's intelligent to take every dime in your account and risk the whole thing. It's not always smart to do that. But let me tell you something. If you ever have a desire to become a big trader, a, I mean, not just a mediocre trader, I mean a big trader, you've got to know when it's right to put the pedal all the way to the metal. 